Every year, hundreds of thousands of people around the world are diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, a disorder of the central nervous system that slowly robs them of the ability to control their movements and enjoy their lives. They include actors, musicians, athletes, politicians, and public figures. There are more than 7 million people worldwide who live with the effects of Parkinson's disease every day. And while more than $2 billion are spent globally each year on treating Parkinson's, the most advanced drugs on the market today can only ease its symptoms. Until recently, a cure has been out of reach. The basic underlying problem in Parkinson's disease is a group of nerve cells die out in the brain and these nerve cells make a natural chemical called dopamine. The current treatment for Parkinson's disease is based around levodopa, which is the missing natural brain chemical. It works very well for about five years, but then patients develop variable responses to the treatment, and then we have to add more and more complex drugs, or sometimes have to use more invasive treatments, such as infusions or even brain surgery. But it's a gradual disease, and it sneakily works on parts of your brain that you're not realising until, until the effect shows up in your fingers and toes or other parts of the body. It's easy to get obsessed about whether I can do this or how I can do that or what sort of a day am I having and when's the next time to take my medication. In 2015, a phase one clinical study led by internationally recognised Parkinson's clinician and researcher Dr Barry Snow trialled a new treatment that might permanently reverse the damage caused by Parkinson's disease. That groundbreaking treatment is NT-Cell, a pioneering cell transplant therapy being developed in New Zealand by Living Cell Technologies. I heard that they were needed four people for a trial. So I could hardly wait for my next appointment with Dr Barry Snow and I said to him, tell me about this procedure. <laughs> and he did. And explained to me what they hoped it would do. And I said, well, Pick me, pick me. This was a phase one study looking at safety and tolerance and all four patients tolerated the procedure well and there were no safety concerns, so we're pleased about that. There was also an improvement in all patients, uh, greater than we expected. At a high level, NT-Cell works by implanting healthy new cells into a patient's brain. These new cells produce a substance called cerebrospinal fluid, or CSF, which supports nerve cell survival, function and growth. Rather than simply easing the symptoms of Parkinson's, the study provided initial evidence that NT-cell could stop the progression of the disease and restore lost function. The impressive results were accepted for presentation at the 2015 International Congress of Parkinson's Disease and Movement Disorders in San Diego. The most important thing for me is that I've regained my joie de vivre. I notice my friends all say, you you're looking really good and you sound really good and you are doing things that you, I haven't seen you do before quite some time. Ten months after receiving NT-cell, clinical tests showed the disease had not progressed and each patient had regained about five years worth of lost function. With such a promising outcome, Living Cell Technologies has planned a second clinical trial in 2016, widening the pool of participants and adding a placebo-controlled group. The first study was a phase one study where we studied four patients at Auckland City Hospital. All of the patients improved clinically by about 20%. Our next step is to look into that improvement further with a phase two study. The knowledge that this revolutionary treatment could be just a few years away from being available commercially is a ray of hope for Parkinson sufferers globally. Small things that make a big difference to me. Uh, my left my fingers in my left hand have received my instructions of what I want them to do. And the medications that I still take are working better. They don't wear off before I need to take the next round. Um, and that makes my life a lot easier too. I think most people with Parkinson's disease are looking for new therapies. They're looking for things beyond the drugs which they have at the moment, which are very effective at treating the symptoms, but never really get to the heart of the problem. So anything that offers something beyond that is, is very attractive. I would say to anybody who had the opportunity to have this treatment that go for it. Living Cell Technologies is a recognised world leader in cell transplant therapeutics and is listed on the Australian and US stock exchanges. To learn more about Living Cell Technologies and NT Cell, visit lctglobal.com.